there is a reason why I had not been buying the TLT or treasuries throughout this most recent move. And yesterday, I certainly didn't buy the damn dip. Why? Because I don't think it was a dip, but I'm quite aware of it. And being not positioned for quad three or certainly quad four, where you buy treasuries, you know, hand over fist is quad four. When bond yields are falling, you have deflation. That's the point. Don't forget that if it is indeed quad two, does it all happen in a day? Or does it take the next one day, one week, six weeks, six months to play out? And will there be mean reversion moves? Indeed, there will be mean reversion moves. Broadly, energy is bullish, okay? And that's been a long time coming. And this is something that I've been waiting for a long time on. I got patience. I need to wait and watch and be patient about the XLE because if I don't nail it perfectly, a lot of people have some uh, anxieties associated with that. This isn't fake news, okay? So it took a day. It had one day below trend. Now it's back above it. So what's going to happen here? Can you blow up the bond market, all mega cap tech, and, and the stock market is unaffected by that? It is far more difficult than people make it out to be. And I do think that this interconnectedness of the NASDAQ and the mega cap tech bubbles that we've been talking about is a very big risk.